Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be taking a look at Spring Thing Leaf Spring Squeak Solutions for GM Trucks. I got in touch with Spring Thing a few weeks ago after finding this product on one of the truck forums online. Many of you know I have a GMC Canyon. Previously I had a Chevy Colorado. Before that I had a 2014 GMC Sierra. One of the most notorious things about these trucks is the squeaky leaf springs um, when going over bumps curbs, etc. A lot of it comes down to leaf spring slap where one of the leaf springs actually just rubs on another one causing the squeak and it's just kind of an annoyance and makes a brand new truck sound like a you know a 30 year old truck. In my 2017 Colorado I slipped a piece of rubber about a quarter inch thick in between the leaves that were squeaking and the problem went away. So they designed this to be specific for GM trucks. This will fit full size uh, Silverados and Sierras as well as 2015 plus Canyon and Colorado because they have the same size springs. For the fact of the matter, these will fit any truck with a two and a half inch wide leaf spring. Let's get these out of the package and take a look. So it comes with a set of heavy duty zip ties and then four rubber, they're about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch thick, but these are rubber pads that are, you know, pretty much the same material I used when I did this on my Colorado. It's just a rubber sheet but you've got four of them two for each leaf spring you can see there and basically what you're going to do is this end of this rubber sheet is going to slide in between the two leaves like so and just provide a little bit of an insulation barrier so when those leaf springs are moving they aren't rubbing metal on metal and making that squeaking and clanking noise instead they'll be rubbing on these rubber pads and you won't have any noise also included in the package some information how to get in touch with them their website their youtube channel all good stuff right there these are called spring thing here are the installation instructions very simple we'll walk you through it on this video and uh, you can read those through on your own leisure if you hit pause then also they include some nice pictures to show exactly how things are going to work they provide this heavy duty zip tie be used to secure these to the leaf pack so that they don't move around which is nice when i did this previously on my colorado i just slid them in there they did move around a little bit and i'll have to adjust them once in a while hopefully with this and the zip tie you won't have to uh, worry about them moving so what you're going to do is you're going to take this and slip it into one side of the slot, wrap it around, and then slip it into the other slot. And then when you're all through, you're going to attach the zip tie on top of the leaf pack. And this is going to hold in place. That's kind of how you want that to look. So I'm going to go ahead and put all four of these together, and then we'll jump on the truck. So as you see, I got the vehicle jacked up and jack standed for safety. The parking brake is engaged and I got this back wheel off. Now, you don't necessarily have to remove the wheel to do this, but I thought it would be easier for video purposes and uh, just to get some more access in here while I'm doing this. So you can see the leaf pack on the Canyon and Colorado's comprises of uh, four sets of leaves. So there's a bottom over overload spring and then a leaf pack of three going up. Um, Silverado's and Sierra's are very similar and uh, this will work out pretty much the same way. Now on the Colorado and Canyon, the majority of the noise that's coming from these springs is from that top leaf and the next leaf down here. There is a rubber isolator there from the factory, but it just doesn't do the trick. So for this purpose, I'm gonna install the spring thing there on the front and then also um, way back there up here on the back one. And then to do this, you just need to get yourself a big fat sturdy screwdriver like I got here and just wedge it in between the leaves enough to spread them apart. You can see there's now a nice gap where I can slide that rubber pad in and then wrap the zip tie around the top and secure it in place.
So you can see there I have the pad installed in between the leaves and then I'm just gonna wrap this up like there a little bit so that this zip tie goes up and there's the other side of the zip tie that I'm going to attach it to and just tighten that zip tie down. And then I'm gonna cut the top of that zip tie off. The back side is similar. Just need to get your fat screwdriver up into the leaf pack enough to spread them apart so that you can insert that rubber piece in between those packs. Just like that. And then you can attach that zip tie like you did on the front one. And that's pretty much it. Once you get that zip tie done on both front and back, you can reinstall your wheel and then lower the vehicle back down and do the other side. All right guys, so I have them all installed on all four spots on both sides. There is the driver's side back and there's the driver's side front. This is the passenger side front. And then here is the passenger side rear. Be sure to visit the Spring Thing website. Talk to Larry and uh, support him by purchasing this product for your truck. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Love it if you subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Later.